channel my name's Andrew Padaka uh, previously this was called Drew the Roofer um, I got diagnosed with AML I'll make it quick AML acute myeloid leukemia um, didn't work for about seven months cancer free now as you saw if you guys watched the previous video that's a nice truck if you guys watched the previous video I kind of explained everything uh, about it and how I'm doing and what kind of is going on now uh, yesterday was my first day back at work um, I just kind of watched the guys. I'm not allowed to get on the roof because of the Hefe's orders. Um, and I'm not, I'm just really weak. I'm just not strong enough, just to be quite frank. So, um, yesterday, pretty much what I did, went to the job, uh, got some plywood for the guys, uh, took off, went to go sell a house, a uh, re roof in Poway. Um, they called us this morning, signed contract first job back first time selling first first day first job uh first contract less than 24 hours of working and i already got a signed contract that's just what i do um but yeah so we're getting back we're getting into the groove of things so what we got to do today is we got to shoot to the job in vista um, where I was at yesterday, uh, they're doing a towel stack over there um, for one of our, our buddies. And then we're going to shoot back to Poway. Uh, we got to go ahead and measure all the rakes and stuff because it, it is a new construction going into existing tile. Um, so we got to make sure we get the right tile color and all that good stuff. And then we'll shoot back here to Vista, check on these guys. Uh, they're felting in, I can't do too much um, because uh, I don't know if I'll pass out. Um, working, my legs get a little shaky if I'm on the roof a little too long. Uh, it's kind of, it's a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't mind selling. I don't mind doing all that stuff, running around and checking all that out. It's cool to me, but yeah. So that's what it's gonna be like for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll get some footage of me going to the house in Poway when I'm up on that roof. Kind of give you guys a breakdown of what we do and kind of how it works. Um, measuring and all that kind of stuff. What we have to do in order to prep for a job when it's a new construction. Alright guys, so I'll make it short and simple. This is the patio cover that they had built. Um, that's the existing roof existing roof existing roof existing roof this ties in to this roof is called california california roof, kind of tough on your gate boy i guess you could say so they tore this off right here these are the old tiles right there uh, these tiles um they have that little bit of uh, lip to it as you can see so what we're gonna do is we have to measure so this is called ridge right here up ridge all the way down that way ridge all the way down that way this is called a valley right here these are called valleys this is called a cricket right here in the middle where two roofs meet in the middle you put a torch torch down through ply torch down so the water can run off this roof this roof this roof and that roof and the water will just flow down that way and head out that way um what you call the sides right here going up those are rakes like these tiles right here going up is a rake so we got to go ahead and measure that and yeah um, so i'm gonna get measuring and get back to it so this simple ridge you just add up so it's eight feet and there's two of them go from that corner so there's two of these so that's 16 feet right there and normally they have these tiles left over here that they tore off like right there um, these are ridge tiles right here um, as well as over there and that's kind of like a cricket too just a really small one and they just put metal there because it's super tiny and these are valleys as you can see again these are ridge tiles field tiles 
and then over there is rake tiles. So what we do is we measure this right here. So eight, normally this is eight, so 16. Now we gotta go ahead and measure from all the way that side to right here. So let's go ahead, go over there. Take this 30 feet. I think 30 feet is about right here. So we'll go. This is 29. We'll come back. The 29 is right here. What I'm gonna do is 29, so that's seven inches. I'm just gonna go from right here. So it's three, almost a foot, so 15 feet. 15 feet of ridge, uh, we always add. Oh, sorry, 15 plus 29. I don't know my math that fast. Let's take that, just taking forever to wind in. Whatever. So we're gonna do 15 plus 29, add a few feet. So we'll probably do 17, 29, because you'll break some here, and you have to break some there to do the tie-in right there where the valleys are at. And then you'll probably have to a little short piece here. Um, always at the end, you start big, so full piece always has to go. You always end up breaking some right around here, because all three root, or all three sides will have to meet in this area, as you can see right here. So you have to go up one will be short here one will be long here if we can we'll just do all four pieces because cement has to go on top of this this end uh, that end over here cement uh, cement and then that ridge end all the way down there has to get cement as well so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the roof completely I got 26 squares and I came originally so we'll, we'll see if that's correct all right so I'll break it down simple so you measure here. so this is an add-on they did so this is six seven feet so you when you measure you measure all the way down to the bottom and you measure up to here which is seven feet you always add because you're gonna have to take some off broken whatnot you have to match the felt go under so it, so when you lay the felt down it matches at the bottom you have to tuck under so it flows perfectly on top so you still have to double layer it regardless if there's already existing roof here and existing felt you have to take that felt off cut it pull it back, take a line off, metalo abajo, porque it has to flow down the roof and has to be done perfectly 100% watertight. Measure this piece right here, which is, I measured from here all the way down there and then from about right here, at this line of the tile, all the way down to the bottom to give you the square footage of this area. And then for this big roof, I measure up and over. So up or down from here, up here to the ridge line got that measurement what i did was i measured from that and right there up here because it shoots all the way across to about right there so you'll cover all of this and you'll just have this left over but when you're up here you add a foot to each side the reason why you add a foot to each side is because you got your cuts here in the valley the valley you'll lose tile here in the valley because you got to cut it and then you also got to remember you got to add the square footage for here as well because you got to do this roof as well you can't just skip out on this roof so you got to add square footage here and then you got to measure here and add the square footage here now these roofs since it has the what we call this cricket right here where we put three ply torch base smooth granulated hence three things three ply you got to put it here as well and this valley has to go above your three ply so what you do here is you have to measure so this is it, it's, it's a triangle so if you remember back in the day a squared plus b squared equals c squared you just measure all three edges so one two three and that'll give you the square footage here but i've been doing it so long i can kind of just gauge so this it's probably like a square and a half because you got to tear back this right here take off this one right you're probably going to break off that depending where the felt is. You can tell the felt is right there. But you take off this one, you might have to go farther. So I put two squares just to be on the safe side. 
uh, two and a half to be sure we'll probably go up to that flashing or right below that flashing what we'll do is we'll peel it off about this way and go up to about right there so when we do felt it in because we're going to have to take this off as well on this side because we have to redo this and redo the skylight because we're going to make sure it's 100 percent watertight for our work because the tie-in is so close from this new roof to this old roof that we want to make sure this is all gone this is brand new for when we put it back on we can guarantee our work with 100 percent watertight that's just how we do it it's how i do it it's how i was taught to do it so that's what we're gonna do this has to get replaced we will not use this one we'll probably cut it back as far as we go up if we go up there we can just pull it out we'll put a new one if not we'll cut it right there but i don't like using too many pieces so what we'll probably do is take this whole piece out and put a brand new piece in here all this has to be brand new so this valley middle has to be brand new this right here this is called tile pen this has to be brand brand new this uh what we call roof to wall has to be brand new on the back side of the skylight it's called saddle that has to be brand new these dormers get taken out now there's no going to be no vent holes here because at the bottom it's open so you don't want a hole for hagen's and those are the hagen's already on that side right there as you can see the one that little that little that little vent right there that's an O'Hagan. so we won't have to install any O'Hagan's. and also this new part ties in this old part so we got to put this old tile all the way up to here now depending on what the customer wants you normally don't want to put old tile and then brand new tile you want at least from the street view this to all look old going up now from this side that way this side that way down there all that tile over there will be used down there for this section all that tile will be used for that section and all this tile will be used for that section but what you have to do is and what you must do is grab a piece of that tile grab a piece of that tile and grab a piece of this tile so when you take it to the roofing yard you want to get it to the exact color and exact sameness of tile as close as you can possible now i don't know if they discontinued this tile um you don't really see it no more so we might have to pull it from a yard somewhere it's quite expensive i don't know the prices last time i checked there was like three dollars a tile but not too sure so this tile has to match here from this triangle here has to match this tile right here because this was used right here has to match that side this tile has to match that side down at the bottom of the little triangle piece that goes out not the flat part the the roof part the angle the pitch part and then this tile right here has to match that side that goes down because they tore this off the bottom so now that has to go back tricky part is there might not be enough tile here to finish this whole piece so with that being said the new tile from here and the new tile from here will both have to be incorporated on both sides now the tile that goes here will be the same color so he might just want to order one color and whatever we could do we can just put all the new tile down below then up here on the ridge right there where it ties into the old tile we'll put the brand new tile so you don't really see it that much so it blends so when you're walking down below you don't see it down below but oh that's new tile and above it's old tile you rather have the old tile below and then you tile up top to where you can't really see it too much because maybe this overhang will block the view now this side doesn't really matter this is all new tile as you can tell the, the different color variants from that side to this side so i have to grab three pieces i have to grab this one that one and this one as well and then they can go ahead and choose i run to the roofing yard to see what's available and kind of go from there um he has to pick whether he wants that color or this color that color is probably the same this one's just a little bit older uh these two are probably the exact same color this one's probably just more newer or not more newer this one is newer than this one this one's just dirty so if you power wash it's probably the same color so but still i'll grab all three just in case um and then go from there but yeah so i measured it um I think I went over everything. I got all the measurements. Ridge. So this is ridge. Going up a roof is rake. Going on top of the roof and down the roof is ridge. Um, valley. Cricket. The flat part. Cricket. Valley. Valley. And these are just regular roofs. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one here in Poway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna go to the roofing place, see what they have, take the samples, and then go back to Vista. And they're putting felt now. Um, I just came from there. So yeah, so let's keep the day going. Let's keep the day rolling, and catch you guys later. Thank you.